What's up, bro? Back with another We Control Cool video. So check it out, right? The video we got tonight, bro. Normally, I try to bring nothing but positivity to the channel. I just felt the need to bring awareness to this based off the title. I feel like the young life, you know, and the players coming up really need to see this video, man, and hear this message, you know, because uh, I think this falls under the category of a situation to where, you know, you got you got the whole world in your hand. Five-star recruit, you feel untouchable until it happens to you. So what we want to do is, is we want to bring awareness that way we can try to save as many athletes as possible. Young people, period, okay? You don't want to miss this. So what we're going to do is, man, is we're going to jump straight into the video. If this is your first time on the channel, man, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm 16 away from 1,000, bro. And I feel like with this video and you guys' help, we can get there, man. So please hit that subscribe button, like the video, spreading awareness today, man. So uh, let's get straight to it, man. I'm an early, early freshman. I played football in Alabama, and like I know, like play football I, for the University of Alabama. Yes, sir, I know what I got at risk, sir. Like I didn't have none of that stuff on me, sir. <laughs> An Alabama football player breaks down in tears after he led cops on a high-speed chase and was arrested on charges of marijuana possession. I can't, sir. I can't. I'm proving this my sir. Like, I can't prove my career, sir. I promise. I'm sorry. Police body camera footage shows freshman defensive back Tony Mitchell and his wild traffic stop on March 15th in Holmes County, Florida. Officials say Mitchell evaded police, driving at 141 miles per hour to escape. When officers finally caught up with him and pulled him over, he denied the escape attempt. You didn't just run for me? Okay, five-star DB Tony Mitchell playing for the University of Alabama on a scholarship. And see, that's where we need to bring awareness, okay? When you're in that type of situation, bro, you are living the dream. And you already know, man, Alabama is the football factory, which means in a couple years, he's destined more than likely to make it to the NFL, man. This is an unfortunate situation. I don't even know where it's in there. Like I said, I'm over here. I got you, man. Body camera video then shows the officer asked Mitchell to place his keys on top of the car. Do you have a key fob to the car? Yeah. The keys to the car. Yeah. Yeah. Just do me a favor. If you don't mind, just put them on top of your roof so the ignition can't feel it. And just set them on top of your roof. Yeah. Just like that. Yeah. So the ignition won't pick up on it. It's then that the officer asks Mitchell about marijuana for the first time. Do you have any medical marijuana card? Do you have a medical marijuana card? Because I smell marijuana coming from the vehicle. Okay. So, do you have marijuana? Because I smell it. Look at that look on his face. Pretty sure right now, in his mind, he's thinking it's over. Are you having a hard time understanding what I'm saying? Why does no, the... I didn't know why you was asking me did I have a car. Yeah, because in Florida they do medical marijuana cars, but in Alabama they don't. It's just something I have to ask. Because okay? I smell marijuana coming from the vehicle. All right? So here's the deal. As long as you're honest with me, I'm going to work with you. Okay? But if you're going to lie to me, I have the right to do a probable cause search right now. Okay? And I do believe you are the vehicle that just ran from us. All right? I didn't. I didn't. All right, well, I'm going to take your, your fob right here and set it toward the trunk. Eventually, Mitchell admits there is marijuana in the vehicle. After that... Look, check it out. Okay, we know. It's tree. Tree is legal in most states, all right? But when you're playing ball, it's a no-go, bro. You got to leave that tree alone, man. You have the opportunity, man, for generational wealth, changing everybody's life around you, man. Leave a tree alone, bro. It's not worth it. Officers ask him to step out of the car. All right, man. So where's the weed at? Now it's a chance to be honest with me, partner. Okay. I didn't run from you, sir, but that's... Are you sure about that? 
because there there was two of us there when you passed that church. All right, just do me a favor, step out. Yeah, step out for him. Body camera video then shows the officers searching Mitchell. Come back here. You ain't got nothing else illegal in the car. <laughs> That's everything. Yeah. Is that everything? Okay. All right. Step back here to the front of my car. You ain't got nothing on you? Yeah, yeah. All right, just put your hands right here for them. I just want to make sure. Yes, sir. Okay. That's just All right, man. Well, do me a favor. Right now, you're not under arrest. You are going to be detained. Put your hands behind your back for me. Sir. Not, not uh, back for me. Sir. Hey, welcome. Come no, you ain't under arrest. You're just going to be detained because I just chased that car. As the traffic stop continues, it becomes apparent there's more marijuana in the vehicle. Okay, that's more weed. How much weed y'all got? How much more weed y'all got? Am I going to find anything else? Yeah, um, Okay. How much weed is that? Hundred grams. Yeah. Okay. Do you have any firearms? Yes, sir. Where? It's on the side. Uh, it's on the side. Do you have a concealed weapons permit? Uh, it is not mine. Do you have a concealed weapons permit, partner? Yes, sir. Do you have a concealed weapons permit? Yes, sir. Where is it? In your wallet? In your wallet. Where's the firearm? It's on. It's on this side. The driver's side. side. Okay. Your side. You got a permit for that? You're going. Yeah. He said it was on the passenger. That's not your gun. Over a hundred grams of tree, a gun, which is in the passenger door. The driver, Tony Mitchell, says that he has a gun license, but I'm pretty sure if it's on the passenger side, that it's not his weapon. So now what? The gun that's in the car is not yours. Officials later discovered 226 grams of marijuana, $7,000 cash, and a loaded gun in the vehicle. Mitchell's passenger, Christopher Lewis, is also taken out of the vehicle. When officers detain both of them, Mitchell begins to cry. Can you put him in the back of your car? Okay. Wait, can you put him in the back of your car and search him? Y'all ain't under arrest right now. I'm just hey, going to talk to you, okay? You, hey, it's going to be okay. Listen, no, I love listen. You, bro. you're just detained, okay? Just right. put him back in your car. You know I love you, bro. You know I love you. Bro, if you love me, well, nah, we can't put all the blame on him. But if you love me, then why are we riding like this? Because you know how peer pressure is, especially when you go back to the hood, man. When you go back home, it's nothing but peer pressure. Nobody want to see you win, bro. Now this dude sitting up here talking about, I love you, bro. I love you, bro. You should have loved me before we even got ourselves in this situation. <laughs> Officials speak with Mitchell first and read him his Miranda rights. I just got to read this to you. It's just our policy because you are in handcuffs, okay? Uh, then the lieutenant here will answer any questions you may have, all right? All right, you do have the right to remain silent. If you choose to give up that right, anything you say can be used against you in court. You have the right to have an attorney with you prior to, during, or after answering any questions. After that, Mitchell tells investigators none of the marijuana is his as he continues to break down in tears. I'm, I'm normally a pretty decent judge of character. This isn't you, right? Yes, sir. Better than this boss. Like, I really can't even talk right now because, like, and you don't have to talk, man. I'm sorry. None of that's the odd. I swear, like, I heard you tell your buddy earlier that you can't call your daddy. All right, listen, I, I'm a daddy too. I'm going to tell you you can call him. He might be mad at you, but you I can call him. Do this, sir. Like, none of that is odd. I'm, I'm an early, early freshman playing football in Alabama, and like. I know, like, Play football for the University of Alabama. Yes, sir, I know what I got at risk, sir. Like, I didn't have none of that stuff on me, sir. <laughs> the reality is, right? Okay, so now he's losing his scholarship, more than likely. Nick Saban ain't playing that, bro. Okay? And, and, and it's unfortunate because this happens way more than we even see, right? Okay, so you got that going on, right? So then now you got what they call hood politics, all right? So now, him doing what he's doing, basically snitching, now that's gonna make it hard for him when it's time to come home because 
Now they're going to label you as a snitch, right? So now when you come home, you're going to have to deal with that. Then you might have these dudes coming in to try to hurt, hurt you for telling. I'm going to other boys actually going to step up and say what's his. He knows it's his. I, I was, I, I, yeah, I know that's his gun too. I can tell because you didn't know what it was. The look on his face when you said gun told me you didn't know there was a gun in that car. I'm so sorry. It, it's all right, man. It's all right, man. Listen, listen. <laughs> What's your first name? Tony Mitchell. Tony? Whose money is in that car? Because there's thousands of dollars in your car. I, I had a thousand. I had a thousand personally. All the rest of the money is his, though. Okay. Like all the weed, the gun, all the money besides a thousand was mine. And it's my car. Like, that's a brand new car that I just got for my recent birthday. Okay. Like, we can tell it's a new car. And it's fast, too. We get that. Look, man, here's the thing. Dude, a chance to, to step up and say that's his. Shit. Um, who do the pills belong to? The, the panic sort of pills are those yours or those his? They're not a controlled substance. I just need to know if those are actually yours in the description or if those are his. They're green pills, lime green colored pills. They're for like anxiety here. So I ain't cool. seen no Whose deal. shoes are in the back of the car? The black shoes. Those mine, and I got, I had the, the, the pair of Jordans, the Nikes, and the black shoes. Okay. Inside those shoes was a bag, and it's got some lime green. You can get them. Out. Mitchell later tells officers it was Lewis's idea to, quote, punch it and speed off from officers. Well, can I ask you a question? Yes. And I'm, I'm not going to charge you for it or anything like that, okay? I'm just looking at man. You, you got yeah. a word. You, you yeah, gonna charge I'm, I'm not going to charge you for it. Were y'all thinking about possibly running again on me? Whenever you turned down Indiana? Why did it take so long to pull over, man? Are those yours or yes. sir? Like, hey, was he driving or was it you? I was driving. I wasn't. Driving. Yeah, I was driving. Okay. So, but like, what I was gonna say, like, I ain't yeah. never been in this like situation before, and like, with everything he had, he was just telling me to go and like, like, I ain't. So that's why you just, you just panicked yes, and punched I it. Panicked, like, I ain't, I didn't Bro, it's alright. I'm not gonna charge you for it, okay? Because you're being honest with me. Yes, sir. I will say you outran me, like pretty bad. That Hellcat. Okay, I ain't never drove that car. It's not a Hellcat, actually. It's yeah, not. This is scary. This is scary. Oh, is it? Okay. I thought it, cause man, I could hear you. Whenever I turned around, you gunned it. This is just that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, man, I ain't gonna charge you with pleading the loot or anything like that, okay? Okay. And it sucks, right? Cause you know, he's some cool cops, you know what I mean? But unfortunately, bro, from what I seen, you got too much on you. It's only so much they can do, you know what I'm saying? But we gonna see your homeboy. He said he love you, or your cousin, or whoever dude is. I love you, man. I love you, man. Let's see right now. Look, fellas, this is the test right here. We're going to see. Is he going to take everything? How deep is the love? I appreciate your heart. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Well, I will have to. Car either. I might possibly have to tell it, but I ain't going to seize it. Okay. Um, well, but we got to get told. It we may. Don't know yet. Yeah, we don't know. It, it may. It may. But but regardless, you're still going to be able to get it back. I'm not holding let me, it. Let me keep it from you. Let me. As the discussion continues, Mitchell asks what will happen if his friend admits to everything. I got a question. Yeah, man. Say he did, like, own up to everything. Like, uh, would I be, would I be good? If he owns up to it, it's yeah. going to be his decision. But if he owns up to it, but like, if say that was to happen, my car was to have to be told. Well, well, because, well, 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 listen, we'll go from there. But I can tell you are under the influence of marijuana, so I will not let you drive it. But we will call your parents, or we will call somebody to come get you in the vehicle. I know that sounds bad, but I ain't, I ain't. Uh, well. I'll be honest, man. Whenever I first looked we'll you, your eyes were red. Yeah. How about that? So, but right. we'll check you out, man. Do me a favor, let's though. figure it out. I, I know okay. you're having a hard time, and I, I, and I understand where you're at. But when officers speak to Lewis, they hear a different story. What about the marijuana that's in the vehicle? Is that yours or his? I was just a passenger. I just got in the car with my clothes. I'm not going to 
don't even say nothing. Y'all heard him. He's just a passenger. It's his car. So you don't know nothing about the marijuana? What about the firearm? I don't know who got hit. You don't know whose gun that is? No, sir. Okay, because he's saying it's not his. All right, so check it out. You got two dynamics going on. You got the Alabama five-star football player, right? Then you got his homeboy Ryan Woody, or whoever dude is, the street dude, right? Honestly, he's doing what he's supposed to do. He's supposed to sit there and say he don't know who's who. He, he don't know where it came from, right? Don't say nothing. That's the code, all right? So it's a wobbler, bro. It's not mine. Okay, he's saying the marijuana is not his either. It's not mine. When officers report this information back to Mitchell, he breaks down once again. Unfortunately, he's denying. I'm not charging anything with the gun. He's catching the gun charge, but he's denying the marijuana. Sir, okay. I swear on well, there's life on everything. There's like, nothing I can do on that, okay? Because it is a felony. I have no discretion over felonies. With the pills, that's possession of a new, new drug. That's a misdemeanor. I can work with that, okay? But I, I cannot work with a felony. The state of Florida does not allow me to. Felony? Who's okay. the felony? What you mean by that? That much marijuana is a felony in the state of Florida. Okay? It's possession of marijuana with intent to distribute. Y'all have almost a pound. Okay? I know I keep pausing it, man, because this is frustrating, right? So, felony, bro. Now you can take football out of it. Especially as a young, uh, a United States citizen, period, you cannot have a felony, bro. Do you realize if you have a felony, it's, you know how hard it's going to be to even just find a job, bro? Even to just even get a job, no no knock on nobody, but to even get a job at a fast food restaurant, we'll say that. You know, with a felony, bro, it make it damn near impossible to do anything in the United States of America. With that being said, bro, they riding with look like a couple of guns, a bunch of money, a bunch of treat. You got to know the laws. You got to know what you can ride with that would get you washed and what you can ride with that you could potentially say, hey, okay, this is personal use or whatever. Basically, man, know the laws, know where you at, man, because that fast, all your dreams, bro, can be just taken away. And unfortunately, it's looking like this is another one of those situations, man. So it's imperative, man, that we bring awareness to this. This ain't to knock Tony Mitchell at all, man. He's a young kid. We in the United States of America, man, the land of second chances. Hopefully Nick Saban, you know, it's really going to depend on how good he is, man. I hate to say it like that, but uh, let's get back to it, bro. So he's not taking it. I tried talking to him, so he's lieutenant, okay? Sir, hey, sir, just, please. That's all I'm charging you for, Sir. But I ain't got a choice on that. Sir. Uh, sir, please, please listen to me, sir. Please. Uh, like, dude, I understand. Trust me. I, I get it. No, no, no. This is the last thing I wanted to do, okay? No, sir. I can't, sir. Hey, I'll put you to the best boy, sir. Like, I came from with my career, sir. I promise. I'm sorry. All right, well, I understand, hood. Just sit tight. Let me talk to the lieutenant. Um, just sit tight for me, okay? Mitchell and Lewis were both charged with possession of marijuana and intent to sell and or distribute. Lewis was also charged with carrying a concealed firearm without a permit. Mitchell was suspended from the Alabama football team after the incident. There you have it, man. Pay attention to your circle before they hurt you. You already know the people that you're around that do certain type of things, man. As hard as it might be, you got to stay away, all right? You got to stay away. Hopefully, uh, you know, this kid has a good support system around him. I'm pretty sure the University of Alabama will try to rally around him, you know what I mean, and try to help him out, hopefully. Um, his cousin, man, or his partner, or whatever, you know, hey, hoping for the best for him as well. But uh, it's an unfortunate situation, man. If you enjoyed the content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Like the video. It's We Control Cool. Checking out with another video. And I'm gone, bro. Peace.